All right, guys, this is just a quick video that's going to detail exactly how to get your open core uh, configurator file um, ready for the Acer Nitro that I have. So this includes the trackpad, Wi-Fi, all that. So just real quick, the only thing you that really have to do to my EFI folder if you have um, uh, if you have uh, the exact same computer is just add the Gen SM BIOS information. So first, I'm going to show you which KECs and SSDTs I have. So here I'll just go through the pictures. Um, you can take your time to review those. And that's the order that I've used them in. So the only thing you're gonna wanna do now is open up this Gen SM BIOS and you're gonna run the command here. And all you're gonna do is select your config.plist. So you hit two, you hit enter. And then you just drag in the config So inside EFI, open core. And by the way, this whole folder I'm gonna put on um, a G Drive link. Um, so you just click the link in the description, you can download everything I'm using here. So you drag that in there, you're gonna hit enter. And now uh, what you wanna do is, um, you're going to click on, um, So you should go through all those options, like uh, number one, and then what you want to do is number three. Uh, so then here you're going to type in Mac um, Book Pro 15.3. Uh, just let me go up here and do about this Mac. So the punctuation matters. So I'm just going to copy this here and paste that in there. And then you hit enter and then there you go. So now you can click on um, number four and hit enter. And then um, number five and if everything went correctly it should say MacBook Pro 15.3 and you should see all this information here so once that is done you can close this and now you're pretty much good to go you shouldn't have to configure anything else but if you were to have to what you want to do is get the application called proper tree and what you do is you open up this application and you hit um, command O and then you just select the config file here and you can add your boot arguments or change any of that stuff. So if, there, if there's still confusion, um, you can go ahead and uh, ask in the comments and I'll try and give some more descriptions. But uh, yeah, so you can uh, two finger right click and then click collapse all where you're specifically wanting to look for is platform info and that's the stuff uh, we just input from the Gen SM BIOS as well as for the boot arguments, you go into NVRAM here, and then um, under add, and then the third one. So you can put dash V or take that out. Um, yeah, and just make sure this file is called config.plist, and then uh, you're good to go. So put this EFI file in your EFI directory for your open core bootloader, and then everything should be good. So thanks for watching, and uh, have a good day.